Joining us on Dining Dollars this morning is Eric Thorson, and Eric is a principal at the analysis firm Technomic. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, thanks for having me. So there's a new player out there in the world of food and restaurants, and that's, of all people, Walmart with their new fresh meal kit. So first of all, give us a little background on that. Well, I don't think it's a surprise that they got into the space. Walmart has been a purveyor, seller of food for a long time. And as they've expanded their business, they've sort of naturally fallen into this uh, supermarket prepared meals or food service meals line that they recently launched. The other side of it though is their meal kit business and that's the big change and that's something that puts them into competitive space with Blue Apron, HelloFresh and even Amazon. And these are meal kits so it's you get the ingredients and then take it home and prepare it. That's right and all the ingredients are pre-measured and so it you know, when we first started looking at the market, we thought it was a play around convenience, and it turns out that it's a lot bigger than convenience. It actually, uh, one of the big need states it's fulfilling is it gives consumers a little bit more time not to have to make a decision about dinner. It just shows up and they, it's designed you know, to be foods that they like, and so it's a pretty interesting business model. Now, this is maybe taking a bite, and I'm using that kind of as a little joke there, a bite out of business from the fast casual. Well, I would say discretionary spend. So the higher up you get in terms of your average ticket when you go out to eat, uh, whether you're going from a quick service restaurant to fast casual to full service, it's more and more discretionary. Things like meal kits are definitely discretionary spend. Uh, the prepared meals that Walmart launched, though, are going to pull a lot more out of that convenience, time-saving meal that you might go to a fast food restaurant for. So what would investors need to know about this play in specific, some of the other players in the space? Well, sure. If you're looking at the big companies, the Blue Apron, the Hello Freshes of the world, um, we have a lot of, uh, of, 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 I guess, money on the line in terms of making sure that they are aligned with this trend and making sure that they're aligned with future consumer need states. There are also a number of smaller players coming into to the, to the field as well, and so there's opportunities for angel investment and VC. Um, and I know that there's a lot of skepticism now in terms of uh, how these meal kit companies and, and sort of on-demand meal companies are going to evolve over the next couple of years. Well, Eric, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.